Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, Barakatham, to the hopefully elect. This is just another quick hit through the spirit. Um, you know, because one thing I've often been talking about is how America, aka Babylon, um, this place was never set up for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to get comfortable this this place was never set up for us to be you know um anything but pure hell for us all right that's how you how about shimmy shy set it up and this place um because this has been the, the the most rigorous slavery that we as a people have been in um and again the lord set it up that way purposely because um the more oppressed we are the more oppressed we become, um, we're supposed to cry out to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right? Just like back in ancient Egypt, which I'm going to get that account, right? <clears throat> but before I get there, I'm going to read this real quick in Ecclesiastes 7. Um, I'll start at verse 2. It says, It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. All right. Matter of fact, I read on. It says, the heart, is, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Because, um, you know, again, when you're in a, when you're in a um, constant state of mirth, again, um, you're complacent. You're comfortable. You're good. You don't really, you know. For the most part, I mean, you're not really going to, you know, um, be in a spirit of wanting to get out of here. You're not really going to be in the spirit of praying and, you know, asking you how about Shemel Shah to destroy this place, so on and so forth. Because, again, you're good. You're comfortable. You're straight. <clears throat> you know, and this is why, like I just read, why it's better to be in the house of mourning, man. <sighs> you know, sorrow being better than the laughter. All right. You know, because, again, this place is not set up for us to be in a, in a mirthful state, in a joyful state. Because, you know, you look at Jake for the most part, man, even though they know in their spirit um, that something ain't right. Um, Jake, Jake knows, you know, things are just Jake knows in their spirit that things are off. But nevertheless, because Jake, they don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to go about it. Right. Um, Jake. Again, um, you know, this is why Jake, they're, you know, they're chilling, man. You know, but Jake is chilling. All right. Jake is not worrying about seeing this place be destroyed. You know, Jake is not worried about the kingdom. You know, Jake is not worrying about all the right things. You know, all the things that they're supposed to be worrying about, you know. Um, but instead, Jake, again, they're in that spirit of joy and mirth. All right. They're not, for the most part, uh, um, in that sorrowful state, they're not in that mourning state. As as for the saints, you see, we're tired of this place, and we're we're looking for this place to be destroyed yesterday. All right, but um, I'm gonna jump down to the point. Verse seven it says, "Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad." So you, you see again, you know, because if you're in a right spirit, if you're in a right state of mind, all right, knowing you're oppressed, man, that should make you pissed off, man. You know. Because, you know, a lot of us, man, we're, 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 we're frustrated, man. We're, we're, we're just beyond tired, man. You know, it's to the point that the only thing that is keeping us going is literally the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. It is the spirit of the Lord that is keeping us going every single day because we don't have nothing left, man. You know, we don't, we don't have nothing in this place. You know, and like I said, man, if it wasn't for the spirit, man, we'd all be through, man. We'd all be done. You know, but again, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and again if you're in the right spirit man if you're in the right state of mind um which the saints the elect they're going to be in the right state of mind all right you know being in the state of uh, of frustration man the house of mourning man because again knowing that this is not our rest like the scriptures say this is not our rest all right like i said um america was never set up to be uh, a permanent home you know jake is is looking for 
these, you know, permanent solutions to a temporary kingdom because again, America is not going to be here forever. We are at the end of this of this kingdom. We are at the end of Esau his rule. All right? So this is a temporary kingdom and like I keep saying, this place was set up for us to really reflect and look back on ourselves, you know, cuz um you know, like the prison whole prison prison system, you know, that's supposed to be the time where um, you know, inmates, you know, <coughs> are supposed to, you know, look back and reflect on whatever crimes that were they were they committed and um and, and you know so on and so forth. <laughs> well America is it's the same thing. I mean, this place was set up for us to not get comfortable, but rather um it was this place being set up for us to you know we we really should look back because you know you see coming back to this truth wisdom knowledge and understanding man we're coming back to the remembrance of things we're coming back to our truer heritage you know and when you read the bible you know because you know the the the, the bible man it's that's this, this, this the bible is our our heritage book all right this this is our history and understanding where we come from you know, because we come from true royalty. Like I said, when you read all the 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 the, the stories of the Bible, these great men and women, you know, um, this is our history, man. You know, this is a part of our this is our legacy and whatnot. All right, but when you look back on where we come from, man, and you look at where we are today, being on the the the, the bottom, because this is the lowest we have ever been as a people. All right, you know, and again, we're supposed to be reflecting on these things like how man what the hell did we do to get to this point where we're just so low as a people man it's to the point where you know hey man these other nations they make mockery of us you know these nations man <clears throat> um these nations man they they literally they they literally um you know take tour buses in our neighborhoods you know taking pictures of us man and you know just just you know make mockery of us because again look at the state the, the, the state that we're in man again being that this is the lowest we are we we have ever been as a people you know and again being that we're in um this maximum security known as babylon the great aka america this is supposed to be a time of reflecting man how do how do we get to this point you know and we should be in this the 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 spirit of want to get back to our 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 royalty man you know <clears throat> we 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 gotta we we ought to be in, in that spirit of reflecting you know because one thing when it comes to um because it's good to talk about how the lord is raising up kings and priests you know one thing about a <clears throat> a king man you know um he knows both he he understands both sides of the spectrum the good and the evil and you see the lord um allowed us to get to this point um you know where we are now because um again you know um hey amen well let's put it like this because now hey we we understand the, the 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 negative aspect of things and you see man when we, when we get when, when when the lord sets us back up hey amen where we are truly going to appreciate righteousness you know, being that again, we understand both. Uh, we we understand both aspects of the on the of the spectrum, right? Um, you know, we are truly going to appreciate everything we get when we ob obtain the kingdom. You see, but as of right now, we're on the other. We're on the 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 other end of the stick, so to say. And this is why, again, I'm gonna read it again. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. You know, because Hey man, we're not sovereign, man. We can't keep our laws. You know, just just look at what we got to deal with on a daily on a daily basis, man. It's vexing every single day. Like I said, if it wasn't for the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, then we'd all be through, man. Cause you know, it's it's, it's that's, that's hey man, Esau. He hey, I always say, man. You know, you got to give it up to Esau, man. The Lord set him up, created him to be exactly uh, who he is, man. He he he's definitely taking his toll on your so-called black hispanics and native american indians man he did a, a, a hell of a good job at it you know 
Oh, okay, just look at this, man. You know, but nevertheless, like I said, Jake, they don't, um, you know, they they're in that spirit of of um of um feast. You know, like a look like the the scriptures, the precepts above read. Um, you know, being in the house of uh, it's better to be in the house of mourning than the house of feasting. You see, Jake, they're in the house of feasting. And like I said, even knowing that things ain't right. Because Jake, like I said, Jake and their spirit, they know things ain't right, you know. But nevertheless, again, instead of crying out to you, how about Shemel Shai, they, um, you know, get comfortable. They establish themselves, so on and so forth. And like I said, you how about Shemel Shai purposely set things up the way that they are um, so that, um, like I said, the more oppression put on us, the more... We're supposed to cry out to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. The Lord set it up that way, you know. So, like I said, man, if you're in a right state of mind, man, you're not trying to establish yourself in this place, you know. Yeah, though we're, we're trying to get by, we we we, we uh, make do with what we got, but um, ultimately, like I said, you know, we know that this is not our rest. Like I said, Jake, looking for permanent solutions in a temporary kingdom, you know. Because this kingdom is temporary. This hellhole that we're in is, is temporary. You know? But again, nevertheless, <clears throat> we're supposed to be crying out to you. How about Shemel Shai? All right? That's how the Lord set it up, man. That's that's what he wants. You know? So I'm going to go to this real quick in Exodus chapter 1. I start at verse 10. It says, Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so go and so get them up out of the land therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with the burdens and they built for pharaoh treasure cities python and Ramesses. so you see um well let me read on down it says but the more they afflicted them the more they multiplied and grew and they were grieved because of the children of israel and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. So you see, again, going back to, and this is why America is also known as, especially called uh, Egypt, because the only, <clears throat> the only captivity that can compare to what we're going through right now um, is the affliction that we had to deal with in ancient Egypt. Because, you know, them, those Egyptians, they put some real <laughs> hell on the children of Israel. And that was also where, you know, all the 12 tribes were at the same place at one time, just like America. All right. Um, so again, dealing with this, this rigorous slavery, you see what did, what did, um, Jake do? They cried out to you. How about Shemel Shai? Right. When you go to the next chapter in Exodus two, <coughs> <coughs> Exodus chapter two, <coughs> Um, Exodus chapter two, verse 23, it says, and it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried and their cry came up unto the most high by reason of the bondage. And it says, and the most high heard their groaning and the most high remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. And the most high looked upon the children of Israel and the most high had respect unto them. So you see. Again, because of the rigorous slavery, Jake, they cried out to the most high power and the Lord heard them. You know, he looked down upon them and he said, well, uh, that, this is when he uh, um, rose Moses up and delivered them. But you see, the difference this time is because uh, even in um, back in ancient Egypt, you, you see the Lord delivered the two thirds. You know, he delivered all Israel. But this time the Lord is not delivering all Israel. All right. You know. Um, <clears throat> he's not delivering the two thirds into the, in, into the promised land this time. See, that's the, that's the difference from ancient Egypt and, and modern day Egypt. You see, cause for one, uh, uh, um, you know, today's day and age, um, two thirds, they're not going to cry out. Like I said, they're in that spirit of mirth. So they're not going to cry out, you know, you know, Jacob's going to continue to be wicked. All right. But you see again, this to the saints, to the righteous saints. We're crying out 
All right. And, and the Lord is looking down upon our he's, you know, looking down upon our afflictions. All right. You know, and he's hearing us. Believe it or not, the Lord is hearing us. He's hearing our prayers. If we're, if we're praying for the right things, the Lord is hearing us. All right. You know, and this time the Lord, the Heavenly Father, he's going to send uh, his son to deliver us, to redeem us, to get the get us the hell up out of here. You see, you, you know, two thirds are going to be cut off. They're going to be um, they're already cut off um, and they're going to die over deaths, but they're going to come back in the kingdom. All right. But as of right now, it's, it's the one third. They're they're the ones that are going to be saved. All right. Those are the ones that are going to be delivered. All right. Those are the ones that the Lord is coming to to, um, you know, redeem, you know, and get us out of this hellhole because of this oppression. Like I said, you know, um, Jake crying out by by the reason of the bondage, the slavery, the captivity, the harsh bondage. All right. You know, and the Lord, hey, he's hearing us. He's looking down um, on the, on our afflictions and he's going to act real soon, you know. Because like I read, you know, uh, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, man. And again, the Lord set it up that way so that, you know, we, we you know, he, he set it up purposely so that we can just get to the point where we're just so frustrated, you know, and we're basically, we're begging the Lord, man. We're begging the Lord. You know, we're setting up supplications constantly. Supplications goes into begging. You know, basically when you pray, man, you're, you're begging the Lord, man. When you, when you throw up supplications, you're begging the Lord, you know, um, like a like a child, man, that's just, you know, constantly bugging the parent, you know, for for, you know, a piece of candy or whatever, man. You know, that that the child is constantly begging the parent. That's how we are to the Lord, man. We're constantly bugging, bugging the Lord, bugging him, bugging him, bugging him to send his only begotten son, man, to to deliver us, to redeem us. You know, and um, hey, man, you know, it's just a matter of sitting back away because um, part of our complaint, uh, part of our. Our um, supplications is seeing this place be judged, man. You know, where we're, we're, we, we can't wait for the Lord to jack this place up. Because that's when um, the Lord is not going to come until, um, you know, all hell breaks loose out here. You know? So, again, that's part of our supplication is seeing this place get judged and getting jacked up. All right? And then comes our deliverance. So, you know, that's, that's what we're waiting on, man. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, man. Again, you know, just another uh, quick hit through the spirit, man. You know, hey, man, um, our prayers are not going unheard. You know, just got to keep throwing them up, man. Have faith and sit back and be patient, man. Let the Lord work, you know, because, hey, things is happening, man. Things is happening and the prayers of the, the saints are definitely being heard. You know, so hopefully this is edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashem El Shai Barakatham. To the hopeful elect. Until next time, lose well. Shalom.